For women, shouts out to my homegirls. Um, the first video I'm going to play is a, a young female showing you the power of having money. She's showing you the power of having some money, having them racks. She's showing you the power of having them racks. When a man got them racks, when a man got them racks, women be submissive than a motherfucker. When men got them racks, when I got them racks, a bitch don't even mind if you cheat. When a man got them racks, Got them racks. You'll see in the second video, you link up with women that get money, that do real estate, that's lawyers, that got degrees. Man, once you get the bag, all the bad bitches that's chasing the bag chase you. This little petty change. Y'all need to subscribe to my Money Harder channel. It's called Money Harder. You know, like when you just harder a whole bunch of money, I teach y'all how to get money. That channel bigger than this one. But with that said, you guys, be on your purpose. Get you some money on. If you find a damn thing less than a 20 in here, my mama, motherfucking bitch. This ain't nothing about four racks. This is a little pocket chain. I swear to God, I made this in two, three days just all playing around. But with that said, in the comment section, it's my Instagram, it's my Facebook. It's my TikTok. Y'all go to each one of my platforms, run it up, show a nigga some love. But I'm finna play the video of two of my homegirls. The first one gonna tell you how, you know, women would allow a man to do whatever he want if he got money. 90% of women would. Y'all let me know in the comment section. The second one is, you know, beautiful young lady. We just talking about real estate, doing some business together. With that said, y'all have a blessed day. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to book a $100 FaceTime call, a $100 finance call, or you need to make some money. Then a $100 cash out, all my business requires is pinned up in the comment section. Love each and every one of y'all. 72% of y'all that watch my content is not subscribed, subscribe. Let's get to the bad women. I know y'all tired of looking at handsomeness, if that's a word, my handsome ass. Let's look at some beautiful women. Let's get it. Now, this may be old news or new news. I don't give a fuck. But I want to know what y'all think about Cardi being offset marriage. Like, how that work. I honestly think with a lot of females in 2024, if they see you fucking with a lot of other females, that's going to make them mad or jealous or more attractive to you. But see, I don't know how a female think. But I'm going to let one tell you if she keep it 100 but I don't know what she doing. If I can get some help. Did you hear the question? What? If a guy, for example, they say Offset's supposed to be fucking all these bitches, right? Mm -hmm. And Cardi still fucking with him. Do you think by a man having numerous bitches that kind of turn the girl on some type of way? Turn, him on, turn her on? Yeah, come on. What you doing? Come on. You think that turned on or what? No. You don't? No. So why do it seem like girls like guys that got a lot of women on? Why does it seem that girls like guys with a lot of women? That has a lot of women, yes. My opinion personally, I think because like they can take care of more than one home or like more than one female. But <laughs> that's just my opinion. So that make it look like he's a strong man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So it can be eternal. It can. Okay. I, I'm, I'm so proud. Most women want to admit that shit. <laughs> okay. So, all right. So, but I ain't never been married either of you, right? Mm -hmm. But is this your husband? Do it make it different though? Yeah, it is. That's but but at the same time, if he taking care of home and making sure everything else is great, she'll worry about what else is going on. See me? See, you got that. See, more with me. But see, hold on, wait a minute, hold on. That's easier said than done. 
It's a lot of women say that shit. A nigga can take care of her as soon as she hear about both sheep and she finna kill everybody. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can't speak for other people. So you mean to tell, okay. So you mean to tell me, if me and you was in a relationship and I took care of everything financially, I can do whatever the fuck I want. Yeah. You wouldn't give not one fuck. Do you think that's true love? Yeah. Yeah, I do it. Okay. I'm finding out something new. Okay. Damn. So you can understand why Cardi would hear all these rumors, but coming back. But what about this? This is what fucks it up. I think Cardi B got more money than all said, so she don't need him financially at all. So if okay, if you got so much motherfucking money that you don't need nobody or no nigga for nothing. Would you share your nigga's deal? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So it's a money thing. So, uh, yeah. got it, got it. That's it. That, that's all I want to know. I done figured it out. It's a money thing. Niggas, get your money up. Get your motherfucking money up. Get your money up. For real, for real. Yeah. Y'all know on the Money Order channel, I teach y'all how to get bread, how to make money. Y'all already know. I done read Warren Buffett book, Elon Musk, a couple of people, and they say the uh, quickest ways to get rich is real estate and uh, what's the other one? I said the stock market. I don't fuck with neither of the off, but I got somebody here to do, Vanessa, and uh, I got a couple of questions for her. So for each his own, it's a million ways to make a million dollars, but here's one of the quickest ways, and I don't know what happened to my questions. Hold on. Here we go. All right. Anyway. So, do you think it's better to buy or rent? It's better to buy. It's better to buy. Yes, absolutely. But if people don't rent, then how how would you make money though? So it's I better. Think to, that okay, go ahead. Financially, it's better to uh, for financial wellness. It's better to buy because you got to think about it. When you're renting a house, you're basically paying somebody else's mortgage for them. You're buying their house for them um, by renting their house. So. I'm going to soak up this game myself, too, because I might get in real estate and bypass your ass. I can't believe. What to say? What type of home would fit in my budget? I get that. Fuck that question. I mean, I guess that kind of would depend on your, how much, I mean, what your credit score is. Um, also, how much, you know, you make a year. They base all that. So, since I repair credit, so, what will a person need, like a fair? Credit score like a six fifty or um I think six twenty is like a general though. like I think that's like a low. I know some um companies will give you a home loan with a five eighty five credit score. I don't know exactly what that all entails um in order for them to get that. Oh, so I'm sure that company, the down payment would be higher. So it's some companies that'll let you get it with a five. Five eighty. Oh okay. What? Yeah, or five eighty five or something like that. But um I think that they have to go through more um you know, more than the average person if they have better credit. Well, I got a personal question because um, I be watching it. I be laughing like hell at them eviction shows. Like, I see a lot of celebrities be like, they tried real estate, but fuck it because it's so many laws out here to protect squatters and stuff like that. Like, I heard a celebrity, I think it's Tarazi P. Henson. Forgive me if it's somebody else, but I don't give a fuck. But anyway, uh, she was like, Somebody stayed in her house for a year and leaked, and she rich with the best like legally is nothing she could do about it. Um, there is something called squatters' rights, and if somebody if they in, if they um, live inside of someone's home for a certain period of time, mm -hmm. they can go actually go and um, file a motion to obtain the property. So how would you, as doing real estate, avoid that, or is it something that y'all can't avoid? Um, that would be you going and checking on your properties having property managers or actually being more hands-on and going to oh, check okay, on your properties you. because if you're if you're going on a regular basis and checking on the properties if somebody's inside the home that's not supposed to be there that's when it becomes trespassing oh bad 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 bad, bad. so basically basically if you own your shit as a real estate agent people can't pull this shit. no you're oh, supposed bad, to be bad, checking bad. on your properties on a regular basis anyway but it's up to y'all like to keep the grass or that ain't on y'all like, yeah absolutely the toilet maintenance, business. any 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 maintenance inside the home, 
um, appliances, dress. So, all that. what if? Now let's keep this on. Let's not think morally or with feelings. Like, okay, because I know how. Let's say you had somebody renting from you for fifteen years, and they asked you. Because I know it probably wouldn't be a smart move to sell it. They say, would you be willing to sell the house? As a real estate agent, you never, a uh, real estate whatever, do real estate, you never sell your property, right? That's just what common sense telling me, right? Sometimes it depends. Oh, so it is some situation that can work out for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. I ain't think about it. If you got you money from... houses. If you could flip houses. If you go in and renovate a house, mm -hmm. you say you spend 60000 on a house, so you put 60000 into that house, and now you get an appraised, and this is a $200,000 house. Why would you not? So this $200,000 okay. house that you spent $60,000 on. Now let me see, just say this too. See, I'm going to tell you what you're doing. See, you don't know, but they know. I'm a money fanatic. Mm -hmm. So by the information you get from me, by next week, I'm going to flip $6,000. I'm going to you that. But renting, like, for, for like, with the economy, rent, renting right now, I mean, I, I guess it would kind of be easier to just rent because... There's not so many stipulations on your credit score, your income, or whatever, and you don't have to worry about replacing appliances if they go out or doing renovations in the home if something happens, you get mold, whatever in your house, whatever. You don't have to worry about that because you call your landlord, grass, all that. Well, since I, I since I um, repair credit, they ain't gonna um, like. Y'all go off. Uh, I know y'all don't go off the normal three credit bureaus. Or y'all may just get a company to do that, but y'all go off like what normal uh, businesses go off of, like the FICO. Y'all don't yeah, go off it's the FICO. Score. Okay, FICO. Okay, bet. Yeah. I uh, what I had a question. It was it was serious, so I forgot. Fucking, I go back to the phone. But I had a serious question too. I really wanted to know. I'm. I went from a video trying to figure out how to do it my damn self. Mm. Okay. Do the neighborhood really matter? They say, how can I learn about my new neighborhood? But like. That man, as a matter of fact, that leads me to my next question. Like, I remember when I first started, and it was too much for me. Somebody told me to go to the courthouse, find foreclosure homes. I remember when mm -hmm. I went to the homes, I couldn't get in touch with people. I didn't know. I mm -hmm. said, "Fuck it." Is that how y'all do it? Like, no. Um, the ones at the courthouse, I think you actually go through the courthouse once you. Oh, oh shit! Yeah. See, that's why I they post them on the board, so you actually go through them, and they actually contact the homeowner because. Yeah. These foreclosure or the the company who uh, the bank who has the foreclosure, um, because it's actually not a person anymore once it goes into foreclosure. Normally, it's the bank. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you have to go through not actual. So how through. much do you got to put down? Now I guess that question is kind of broad. Uh, so. Yeah, I was about to say that. Was yeah, so right. Question. How much like? Well, I guess it. Yeah, some companies on the house. require you to put down ten percent. Some companies, uh, you could go through some uh, banks. That offer you a loan or whatever for your home, and they um, don't require your a down payment. You just have to pay closing costs and oh. inspection fees and whatnot. So. Oh, okay, okay. Well, shit. I only I got a few more questions, and y'all already know if y'all want a part two, uh, five thousand likes to get y'all a part two. No, nah, I'm a little. Well, I changed my name from Kaki. I was going to say 100,000 likes, but I ain't going to be no asshole no more. <laughs> but, uh, okay, last question. Fuck it. Um, how should I apply for a mortgage? But fuck the mortgage. My question is when you rent out a house, do, is a person, is a tenant paying you mortgage or is they paying you rent? When you rent out a house? Rent, right. When you rent out a house, yes, they're paying you but they rent. But they rent to buy, so is that, do they switch they can to rent mortgage? To own. Well, wait, no. But that has to be an option that that you as a real estate agent or you as the the property manager, um, you know, that's pre-established. Like, I'm not just renting this property; I'm renting to own. Um, they don't have to let you rent to own it. So, what type of time you on? You on the? I think I know. I I'm rent. Saying, you know what I'm about to say. I'm not renting on anything because okay. I don't want you to own my property. So I want to keep renting them out because if you leave, then the next person could come and rent this. And I'm still having that residual income. Have you ever dealt with like a squatter or anything like that? You have? No, sir. Absolutely not. Oh. Okay. You know me. What do you think? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they don't. I do. <laughs> 
<laughs> you, want so you, to, you want me to tell them? Go ahead. You feel free. <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna call y'all. I went to the dating show. Okay. Hey, if y'all want to know how much of a angel she is, y'all go to Here Global Dripping, man. Her. Like, comment, subscribe, whatever the YouTubers say. Have a great day. That's over for that one.